My name is Ed Echo, and I am the engineering librarian at the Western Michigan University Libraries. The following video will help you understand what scholarly engineering journals are and how to tell them apart from engineering trade magazines. So what is a scholarly journal? Scholarly journals are periodical publications that present current research findings by scientists and engineers. They are the primary way that researchers share their research results and data with other scientists. Journal articles have gone through a rigorous peer review process, which simply means that the writing, methodology, and results have been evaluated and approved by other experts in the field. This means that the information contained in these articles is generally considered to be of the highest quality. Here are some examples of citations or references to scholarly engineering journals from several different sources. Sometimes you may find information in the citation of the article that will tell you that it is from a scholarly or peer-reviewed journal, but not always. It can actually be kind of confusing to try to figure out what you're looking at when you find a citation in a database or on the web. However, after finishing this video, you should be able to tell whether an article is scholarly or not by both the content and the format of the article. Scholarly engineering journals tend to use a similar format. This is because they mirror the scientific method. Articles published in these journals will generally be organized along the following lines. They will usually start with an abstract, which is a short summary of the main points of the article. Abstracts are useful to scientists who want to quickly browse lists of articles for those that are relevant and don't want to read everything word for word. A list of keywords supplied by the author. These keywords help users to find the article in online databases and searches on Google. You can use these yourself to find related articles. An introduction section will explain why the research was undertaken and give some sense of previous research in the area. A detailed description of the experimental setup, including how the data was recorded, what materials were used, and what procedures were done. This may be called the experimental setup materials and methods, the experimental procedure, or the research protocol. This would be useful to anyone who decides to repeat the experiment. The results section will include the data that resulted from the experiment. This may include graphs or charts, tables, and images. The discussion section explains why the researchers think they got the results they did, what were the possible sources of error, and why the results are considered significant. In other words, why should anyone care about the results of this research? The conclusion section summarizes the main argument of the article. Finally, a scholarly journal article will almost always include a list of the articles, books, and other sources of information cited within that article. This may be called the References, Literature Cited, or Bibliography section, and is a great resource for you to use in finding additional articles or books on the same topic. Now, how can you recognize a scholarly journal article when you see one? Here are some cues that you can use to help you. First of all, scholarly articles frequently begin with an abstract. They are written in a highly specialized or technical vocabulary that is very concise, saying as much as possible in as few words as possible. They report on original research conducted by the authors. Hence, you should be able to find a section that describes the experimental procedure. They will frequently contain tables and charts of data. They will contain a list of references or literature cited. Finally, the authors listed 
will be scholars or experts. You should be able to find their credentials listed somewhere in the article. If you have further questions about identifying scholarly journal articles, talk to your librarian.